सो वी वेर इन यूनिटरी मेथड एंड दैट टू इन एक्सरसाइज सेवन ए वी हैड लर्न दैट it deals unitary method deals with finding the finding the value of 1 finding the value of 1 first and after that you find value of many find value of many and for that we had two options that is the first is direct variation direct variation and the second was inverse variation in direct variation the values on both the sides increased and decreased but in inverse variation the if the value of on one side increased the value on the other side naturally used to get decreased For example, let us come to number eight, which says two hundred men. I told you in the beginning that if we are finding the value of a particular quantity, that should be on the right hand side. Means two hundred men have two hundred men have provision for about thirty days. Fine, fifty men left. So if fifty men left, naturally, if fifty men left. So how many men were left? Uh, how many men were there? So after fifty men left, one hundred fifty men were left. So they are asking that if fifty men left, the same provision would last for how many days? So I find that this is already in arranged form. So आ जाइए for two hundred men. For two hundred men, the provision. The provision was for thirty days. Okay. So for one man, for one man, the provision will be for how many days? More days or less days? So for one man, it will be for more days. Thirty into two hundred. मतलब कि for example, if one man is only there. Then the same provision, ये जो खाना जो है, that will be for about thirty into two hundred days, more days. Now one man provision is for this much days. तो जब आदमी हमारा बढ़ गया है यहाँ पे one hundred and fifty men अगर हो जाता है, तो in that why one hundred and fifty men? Because fifty men has already left it. So one fifty men. Provision will be for thirty into two hundred divided by one hundred and fifty, which will give you forty days. Hmm? Eight men men can finish a piece or a certain amount of provision in forty days. If two more men join, find how many days the same amount will be sufficient. This can be done. It's better we do for do number ten. Interest calculated on rupees two hundred. So naturally, if the principal is rupees two hundred, principal is rupees two hundred. The interest calculated was rupees twenty five. In a certain time, this is my simple interest. Okay, this is my principal. What will be the interest? What will be the interest on rupees seven hundred and fifty for the same time? So if principal is equal to two. Hundred simple interest is equal to rupees twenty five. So if the principal is rupees one, my interest will be less. अगर कम लोन लिया जाए तो उसपे रेट और उसपे इंटरेस्ट विल बी लेस. How twenty five by two hundred. Please do not cancel here. Okay. Now for rupees one. The interest calculated was this much for rupees seven hundred and fifty. अगर ज़्यादा रहा तो क्या होगा? Will be twenty five. ज़्यादा रुपीस में ज़्यादा interest. Simple twenty five 
into 200 and when you get the value more we multiply 750 please cancel it okay and you will get a value 93.75 okay after you solve it after you solve it you will get some what <coughs> 750 by 8 the whole this 25 8 times 25 1 times 25 8 times and when you will divide 750 by 8 you will get a value 93.75 okay 11 is quite interesting why because they are talking about dozen and scores dozen so one dozen one dozen means one dozen in Hindi we say ek darjan. So one dozen means twelve units. Okay, and one score. This is this one S C O R E. One score is equal to twenty units. Okay. So as you say one dozen banana means you are talking about twelve bananas. When you are talking about one score of banana means you are talking about twenty units of banana. Okay. So if three dozen, let us see whether it is in arranged form or not. So if three dozen eggs cost rupees 90, okay, find the cost of three scores of egg, okay. So we will be writing in this way that it is better, why not to convert three dozen, dozen into units, means three into 12 units and 3 scores means 3 multiplied by 20 units ok so 3 into 12 is equal to how much is equal to 36 and 12 3 is 60 now let us go through the our problem that if 3 dozen x so instead of 3 dozen I will be writing 36 so if cost of 36 x is equal to rupees 90 find the cost of 3 scores means find the cost of 60 units or 60 x so if cost of 36 x is equal to rupees 90 then let us first find the cost of find the cost of find the cost of one egg the cost of one egg will be less so when it will be less means we will have to divide now find the cost of 60 eggs so cost of 60 eggs so cost of one egg is this much so cost of 60 eggs will be more 90 by 36 multiplied by 60 so you will get rupees hundred and fifty as your total value isn't it come on moving on to the other one they are talking about fare if the fare for 48 kilometer is equal to 288 what will be fare for 36 kilometer it's better we don't do this 12 13 why not to do number 14 okay which says if nine lines of a print for example these are the lines so if nine lines of the print contains nine lines of a print contains 36 words means in nine lines there will be 36 so let us first find the value of one line so nine lines consists of consists of 36 words so one line will be more or less so one line will be less 36 by 9 words so when one line contains this much words 51 line will contain how many words so more words 36 by 9 multiplied by 51 will give you 204 words simple okay <coughs> now 100 not one this one I will not do why not to do number 16 so 16 says 16 says a carpenter prepares a new chair again time and work so whenever you come across time and work be alert that it will be in 
inverse variation inverse variation means when the value on one side decreases on the other side value will increase so come on let us move to the carpenter's work who prepares a new chair in three days working eight hours a day three days working eight hours a day how many hours per day how many hours per day he must work to complete the same chair, chair in four days so i think this is in arranged form and now we are go going to start with the days and hours so in three days in three days in three days okay this is not perfect i'll make it perfect in three days time taken or you or number of hours worked number of hours worked is equal to eight means if he works eight hours per day he will complete the work in three days okay so for one day if you want to complete the work in one day the number of hours worked will be more aapko ek hi din mein kaam khatam karna hai to jaahir si baat hai ki aap zyada samay zyada ghanta deke kaam khatam kar karenge more means 8 times 3 is equal to 8 3 are 24 hours no need to multiply over here do i multiplied it now they are saying that if he wants to finish the work in 4 days so if he wants to finish the work in 4 days so in one day he worked for 24 hours so for 4 days naturally he will take less hours so when less hours means 8 into 3 divided by 4 will give you how much 6 hours hmm <coughs> 17 says talks about leap year leap year l e a p leap year okay in leap year leap year are years which which can be divided by 4 so which can be divided by 4 as well as those numbers which can be divided by 100 also so let us talk about leap year so in leap year we find that an extra day is added so this extra day which is added is usually added in the month of february so for other day other years february has february has 28 days but in leap year in leap year february will have 28 plus 1 is equal to 29 days so you just need to remember that in a leap year 29 days in february should be counted so that is why they have given you this to test whether you know something about leap year or not so a man earns how much rupees 5800 in 10 days how much will he earn in the month of february being a leap year so in 10 days in 10 days the man earns how much rupees 5800 5800 he earns this much so in one day what do you think so in one day will he earn more or less so in one day the earning will be less that is 5800 by 10 rupees okay we can consider it over here now in one day if he earns this much in one day if he earns rupees 580 5800 divided by 10 so if in one day he earns this much therefore in 29 days because they are talking about february being a leap year the earning will be how much earning will be 580 multiplied by 29 so 580 multiplied by 29 will give you how much will give you 16820 
as your solution 580 multiplied by 29 this much rupees will be the earning of the person okay now when we come across number 18 we find that here some calculation should be understood while solving for example a machine is used for making rubber balls and makes 500 balls in 30 minutes so in half an hour in number 18 in half an hour the machine makes how many rubber balls makes 500 balls rubber balls so what do you think in half an hour if it makes 500 balls so in one hour how many balls can be made 500 multiplied by two balls double in half an hour 500 balls so in one hour double two times clear now our solution starts from here in one hour if he makes 500 into 2000 balls then in three and a half hour in three and a half hour will he make more ball or less ball so here of course he will make more ball so three and a half three and a half means seven by two on cancellation you will get three five zero zero balls okay hmm. now number 19 is also of the same type in if in a school mess 20 children consume certain quantity of ration in six days five children did not return okay how long will the ration last so it's somewhat similar to the other one still i'm going to do it okay for example how long they are asking about time so since they are asking about time therefore time should be on this particular side so 20 children 20 children chil children consume a ration okay or you can say has provision provision for how many days for six days so for one child one child the provision will be for more days so 6 into 20 days for one child now 5 children did not return so when 5 children did not return the number of children left is equal to how much equal to 15 children so they are talking about that if 15 children are only there then the provision will last for how many days more days or less days so let us see so one child has provision for this much days so 15 children naturally when the number of children will increase the provision or the number of days will reduce nahi comes kam din mein hi kam samay mein hi pura khana khatam 6 into 20 divided by 15 will give you how much will give you 8 days so we saw that how this unitary method in unitary method first we found the value of 1 and then we found the value of many now in order to find the value of one either we have to switch on to the direct variation or inverse variation isn't it come on so for the next exercise you will have to stay tuned